Hi, it's Dwyer. Dwyercrime.blog, richarddwyer.com. Let's talk about a part of the evidence in the John F. Kennedy assassination case that I believe you need to be aware of. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now by now, no doubt, you've heard that there are four people, four, who claim to have seen a man with a gun, right? In the Texas School Book Depository building, shortly before the assassination of our 35th president. Right? Some even place the individual on the sixth floor at the fateful window. Right? Howard Brennan, for example, places a white male with a rifle at the fateful window on the sixth floor of the building. Now, we've all seen movies, and we know the FBI's version of events, or at least the Warren Commission's version of events, right? It's portrayed in Oliver Stone's movie, JFK. Oswald waits for the motorcade to make the turn. Then Oswald, with a rifle, right behind the line of boxes, leans out the window and starts firing. He gets off three shots. The president is hit twice. Right now, that's supposedly what the Warren Commission concluded. Right? Oswald holding a rifle, firing the shots. So Oswald gets arrested about an hour after the assassination. Right? An hour after the assassination. The police then do a paraffin test on Oswald's hands and on his face. Right? His hands and his face. After all, he's supposed to have been leaning on the rifle when he fires the shots. He's supposed to be using the scope of the rifle. Now, for now, just in this video, let's conveniently overlook the fact that the rifle had defects. Right? Let's overlook the accuracy of the shots out of a defective rifle. We'll overlook that. We'll assume that the rifle in question here was used in the crime. Right? What you should know is that the paraffin test on Oswald's hands comes back positive. It indicates the presence of nitrates. But what you should also know is that the paraffin test on Oswald's face comes back negative. There are a few other facts to consider. <clears throat> Oswald is accused of a second murder that day involving a pistol, an officer, J.D. Tippett. Right? Oswald is supposed to have shot Officer Tippett several times. Right? I believe it's four times. He shoots him several times. Then he walks around the police car and fires one last shot as Tippett is on the street. Right? Now, this is the official version of events. So understand, Oswald's paraffin tests if you think it through, are consistent with Oswald killing Tippett with a handgun. 
but they're completely inconsistent with Oswald killing anyone using a rifle that day. The paraffin test that law enforcement gave Lee Harvey Oswald the same day as Oswald is supposed to have killed the President of the United States do not support law enforcement's argument that Lee Harvey Oswald fired a rifle that day. I'm going to highlight some other pieces of evidence in other videos. Normally I like to do one crime per video. But I've been researching the Kennedy assassination. Some major breakthroughs have taken place in the last 15 years or so. And I believe it's clear that the prosecution would have had a very hard time an extremely hard time proving Oswald's guilt for the Kennedy assassination beyond a reasonable doubt. Right? Let me just throw out here and I want you, the public, to be active in the comment section of this video. If you are part of a research community and that community could be for or against Oswald's guilt. Feel free to leave links to your community pages. Feel free to leave links to any online resources or pieces of evidence that you feel will enlighten subscribers here. All right, but what I want people to understand is that law enforcement administered a paraffin test to Oswald. It was comprehensive. Right face and hands. Understand it's so soon after the crime and if you follow the timeline Oswald simply doesn't have time to try to clean up and even if he tried to clean up would have been unsuccessful. So it's staggering that we have Oswald using a scope on a rifle firing multiple shots right multiple shots reliant on that scope since he's on the sixth floor of the building and it's amazing that in a case of this magnitude, let's just say I don't think the state of Texas had a bigger criminal law matter that day. In a case of this magnitude, given the importance of the paraffin test, it is simply staggering that the test on Oswald's face, on his cheeks, comes back negative. Right? Negative. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.